Hi, today I'm showing you how I installed a couple of garden sprinklers for a vegetable garden. Before I do that, I uh, want to tell you that this can be connected to your uh, water hose or it can be connected to existing irrigation sprinkler or you can maybe uh, bring the pipes over from your pipe on the outside all the way to your vegetable garden. In my case, I had an irrigation system done last year and you can watch that video here. I'll also have it in the description. But uh, this is actually my little setup where I test different sprinklers and I just uh, use a quick connect uh, there to connect the gardening hose to this uh, little setup that I have here. So in uh, theory, you could also do everything I'm doing right here. You can connect it to your garden hose, run it around your garden, or you can dig under your garden, but I suggest you use uh, poly pipes like I did or PVC pipes if you want to go down that road. In my case, I remember where I set the lines and this is one of my zones that I don't use that much is in the back of the house and it's on a slope so this zone here I don't water that much anyway and uh, I figured I tested I, I would connect my uh, garden to this zone and then see how that works together in a perfect world you would have to a zone uh, just for that, just for your garden or for your flowers. But like I said, since I'm not using this zone that much, I figured I would at least try and see if these two can work together. I can always shut one of them down or change the system a little bit, maybe add another zone. But for now, I just wanted to test it. Also, if um, these sprinklers don't work for you, I just I guess uh, you shouldn't be using them, but I'm using them for tomatoes and peppers, uh, yellow peppers. So I think this will work. You'll see at the end uh, the result I came with. So I'm cutting into my three quarters of an inch existing irrigation system line. So if you're watching this video and you want to do just that, this is the steps you're going to take. Otherwise, you would have to bring the pipes from your uh, pipe on the outside or from your gardening uh, or from your sprinklers actually. I'm taking a uh, three quarters of an inch poly pipe and bringing it to the garden using uh, T here and these are little rings that you just uh, pinch together with your tool. It's a uh, kind it looks kind of like a plier tool but it's uh, actually only for this so you will see what I'm doing and then like I said before there is a video and description for the irrigation system that I did and you can find all those directions there how to connect these pipes uh, I have to heat them up a little bit and I couldn't find my uh, propane tank so I just use a lighter and it was very hot outside anyway so I just had to heat it a little bit, uh, don't heat it too much, just heat it a little bit and push in that plastic T inside and it should snug in perfectly like that. So I'm pointing it to, towards the garden and then just adding another piece of pipe there. And then at the end, when we are ready to go to the actual sprinkler head, I'm just going to reduct it to half an inch pipe because you are supposed to have uh, at least two feet at the end for your um, half an inch pipe that will reduct the water flow and it would work as per manufacturer's specifications.
now that we have our pipes inside the raised garden bed i'm going to lift this up a little bit i'm gonna have it above the ground these sprinkle heads are about four inches uh, long and then the pipe that co goes out of it is another four inches so all in all i'm going to have eight inches height there i don't want it to be too low because uh, once these vegetables start growing the water stream is going to hit directly the veggies hanging uh, like yellow peppers here and i don't want it i want it to water the water uh, right below them or uh, way above uh, the actual uh, fruits or vegetables whatever you consider them uh, so i'm just uh, adding this uh, half an inch uh, part here that goes inside the sprinkler head and then it will go inside a piece of poly pipe these are two by tens that i have on the side so they're gonna be around uh, 12 inch or less and that's just gonna be perfect to uh, have that uh, two feet from the bottom and then go up another feet so because i already have uh, one foot half an inch pipe on the other side there that you can't see uh, from that two by ten i'm showing you all these little, little steps here assuming that you might not know how to do this and i know a lot of people there know these little uh, stuff little parts here you know how to uh, use these uh, pliers there how to make everything watertight but i uh, made this video in with a uh, average consumer in mind that doesn't really know how to do all these little things so if this video is too long i apologize uh, you can always fast forward but i just wanted to go and record every step as i do and then you can notice that in most of my videos that's actually what i do because i want everything to be shown to you no matter if i done it wrong or if it takes too long to do because if I do something wrong, you can always correct me and then leave a comment or tell the other people that something is done incorrectly or that it can be uh, done better. I had this PVC pipe laying around. This is a three quarters of an inch diameter pipe. And I want to use this as a protection because if you're working on your, on your garden or someone else's, you don't want them to damage these poly pipes they're easily damaged uh, so this piece of plastic here gives it extra protection and i'm gonna use a couple of screws and just uh, attach it to that 2 by 10 it will uh, make it sturdy and it will also protect it there this is a little bit tricky you have to leave enough room uh, for that ring there to work to be applied uh, on the bottom there correctly so I have to cut off a little bit of that pipe there in order to have access to it. I ran a piece of about five feet hose from that uh, connection over there that you uh, noticed before and this is for the second sprinkler i decided to do this a little bit different and have everything set up on the other side and then just uh, bring it underneath the two by ten and uh, connect it right there because i think that might be easier but basically this is the same setup same sprinkler head and uh, same protection around the poly pipe there.
This is the second sprinkler head that looks exactly the same as the first one. All we have to do is now is attach it to the 2x10 and if you have some kind of a clamp that would work perfect. I have this metal perforated tape and I just uh, cut it to size and uh, just put some screws there on top and the bottom and that will hold it there and it, uh, will, it will not let it sink into the ground. It will stay the same height. Like I said before, this height or this kind of sprinkler might not work for your vegetable garden because it, you don't want the water to go directly onto uh, your tomatoes or, or cucumbers or whatever you're doing. But I am going to test it like this and see how it works. I think it should be okay because our vegetable garden is not that big. If you want to, you can bring them up actually, uh, put them like two or three feet above the ground using two by fours or if you have four by four posts around your uh, vegetable garden, then you can just bring it up there and attach it there. I don't like the drip system because you cannot dig around it. You have to always be careful this we have been watering like this with the gardening hose for years and it's basically the same principle but in this case it will do it for us we don't have to uh, get up early in the morning or we don't have to worry whether it's gonna be watered or not so another thing you might want to do is clean the nozzles you just take them out like that and uh, since we were digging right here into the ground those uh, filters there will get dirty and it will prevent the water from coming out you can actually see it right away so i had to take off these uh, noses the, the nozzles and now it works perfectly as you can see the bottom one i changed it to a hunter sprinkler head and i want to s compare them both see the difference between them um, you can also change the nozzles and then make the nozzles same on top but I just wanted because I had to I had two of these laying around anyway so I want to compare them and I wanted to adjust these angles they are both 360 degrees adjustable nozzles and you can also adjust this distance of the spray uh, thank you for watching the video uh, like it uh, underneath here and uh, subscribe if you'd like and I'll see you in the next video.